This is John Locke and today I'm answering a, a question that I saw on Reddit and this uh, comes from someone who says, uh, I have a friend who works in tech and they're working for a company that they do e-commerce websites and the, the plan that the uh, CEO and the CMO have is to, uh, they want to take the uh, Google reviews that they have, take that uh, schema data, embed it in the site to where their, um, those star ratings show up in the meta description. Um, and <clears throat> I told them that this is something that they can get a manual Google penalty for, which is true. This is something that, that you are not supposed to do and I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, but furthermore, what they want to do is they want to uh, take all their Yelp reviews, create fake email, Gmail profiles, and then take those Yelp reviews and add them as Google reviews. So basically making fake reviews. Um, and then they want to roll this service out to clients. So basically uh, doing fake reviews and then embedding those uh, as schema data to try and make the you know the star ratings come up in uh, when you search in Google and you see it in the meta description. So this is problematic on a lot of lot a lot a lot of levels. Um, for one, you're very correct when you state that they can get a manual penalty from Google for embedding schema data with reviews. Now the way that it's supposed to work is there should be a mechanism for people who come to the site and to uh, leave a star rating there. So if you want to have a feature like this in your website, uh, and some e-commerce stores do this out of the box, like WooCommerce, you can rate a product. Um, some websites that I've seen, you can uh, leave a review. But they have to be able to come to that particular website and then click a star rating and leave a review or a star rating and then have that updated in the site itself. That is when Google shows the star rating in the uh, meta description or the search results. Uh, if you're not seeing it, that's why, because there's no natively uh, embedded way to leave reviews uh, in that site. But like I said, a, a lot of e-commerce solutions out of the box have that capability. What's problematic is they're wanting to uh, replicate reviews from Yelp and then put them in Google. Um, now I hate to say this but Google is probably the easiest platform to spam with fake reviews because I see a lot of competitors and I see a lot of um, you know client competitors that they have fake reviews. Uh, they're fake profiles. I mean, it's, a, it's fishy sometimes when you see uh, the same person that leaves reviews all over the country uh, for the same <laughs> places. Uh, all the same places are reviewing like a competitor. And then if you look at the other places that are reviewing, it's all the same people, but they're all over the country. Uh, that is an obvious footprint. I don't know why Google doesn't crack down on it more. Um, Yelp, it's a lot harder to fake reviews. A lot of the reviews get kicked out anyway, even if they're legitimate. We have a video on that, uh, getting past the Yelp filter review. The most problematic part of this question, this story, uh, this post on Reddit, is that this is a company that thinks this is a good idea, that deals in technology, that builds websites, that builds e-commerce websites for a living and the leadership on the team thinks that this is a good idea even though they've been shown and warned that Google will manually penalize them and their client sites for this. So this again, when you are selecting people, it's very important to understand what you're getting and whether the things that they're pitching you are problematic. Will they get your site manually penalized by Google? Um, are the things that they're doing ethical? Do they have integrity? Do they go about things with integrity uh, in their own business and for your business? 
Uh, these are important things to address. Um, I do think that the way that you do one thing is the way you do everything. So if you have integrity in one uh, area of your business, it's going to, or your life, it's going to filter down to all the different parts of your life and your business. Uh, so be very wary of companies that sound too good to be true or they have an insta solution, you know, just add water and you'll get all these, you know, fake reviews and that will help you. That's not a good idea. Um, you know, and I'll just add this too. If a client ever came to me and wanted to implement stuff like this, I would say the same thing. Uh, I'm not about to do anything that's going to jeopardize your business or make me look bad or, or make me feel like I'm compromising our integrity of our business uh, here. So just something to be wary of. No, you can't take... Um, Google stars and then uh, like take that schema and embed it. Now there are plugins, there are modules where you can take the star ratings that are already in Google because like Google knows <laughs> what your star rating is in Google already, right? Uh, there are plugins and modules where you can embed uh, some of the Google ratings. It doesn't mean that they're like if people Google your business it's going to show up the star rating in the description but it'll be there in the knowledge panel on the right hand side when you Google your company name. It'll show your Google reviews. Um, so yeah, there, there are modules to do that for all kinds of things, um, you know, where you can embed stuff. But if you want to have star ratings uh, when, when you uh, Google a, a, a thing and the actual business is right there, there has to be a mechanism to collect it and then update that star rating on the site, in the site itself. Uh, and I don't mean an embed, part of the actual site itself, not an iframe, not an embedded module. Um, it, it is actually part of the site itself. Uh, but, but just taking schema uh, markup or structured data markup from Google and then taking your stars and then putting it in there is, is a no-no. Please don't do that. All right, this is John Locke for Lockdown Design and SEO. We help manufacturing and industrial firms with SEO. So if you have an SEO question, leave it in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer it. And we're posting videos every week, so we'd love to see you subscribe. Until next time, peace.